So AI can do a lot these days. You said it, fake Gavin. Keep it up, you're doing great. Do not listen to him. That is an AI. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how we know uh, that you're not the AI here. In the next five minutes, I'm gonna give you three common sense tips to help you understand whether an image or video is AI. More important than whatever this is, I've been looking at an incredible timeshare in Maui, and boy, oh boy, this opportunity is closing fast. You just need to wire me money like today. Stop, do not listen, let's get started. For this video, we're mostly gonna be talking about well-known people or real life events. It's important to know that real people, individual people can be fake, like the fake Gavin in the beginning of this video, or this completely made up AI influencer video that just came out a few weeks ago. <clears throat> Hi there. Okay, this is gonna sound really strange, but I had the weirdest dream last night. Normal people can be fake, but mostly scammers or bad actors are trying to go after the largest audience possible. The word generally used for these is deep fake, and it's such a big deal that Merriam-Webster has even put the word into the dictionary. Just last year, Tom Hanks warned his fans that he had zero to do with an AI deep fake of himself sending dental plans, which brings us to step number one. Common sense. The first and most important thing to ask yourself when you see any celebrity or anything happen that you think could be fake is to ask yourself why. Why would this person be doing this? Does it make sense for this person to be saying this thing right now? Why would this Oscar winning and very rich actor be doing low quality Instagram ads for a dental plan? Question, that is just a question you should put in your mind. Has he fallen on hard times? Did the Forrest Gump residual check stop arriving? So that step will get you a very long way. Just use your own common sense. But luckily we don't have to rely just on ourselves because the entire internet is doing this work for us. Which brings us to step two. Use the internet and other humans to help. There are literally billions of people now who have internet access and the chance that you are the first person to see something is very, very low. You can use context and other people to get a sense if something is real or not. Recently, there was a debate around AI crowds for a certain political rally and the idea took root. But if you had searched online at the time, you would have seen dozens of angles of this rally, so many that it's impossible to fake. While social networks can be really bad about spreading AI, they can also be a really great way to debunk it as well. You have to get out of your feed and go to the search bar. Every social media platform has a search tool search for that specific event and you will start to see other perspectives on it. You have to get outside of your own bubble. Also, Google. Google is a great resource for this. You can Google a specific thing. There are lots of people online who are doing the deep technical research to understand is something real or not. Google something and don't read just the first link. Go four to five links deep and understand the whole context of the story. You can't rely on a single source no matter who it is. That is the world we're in now. Now there are a couple small things you can look for which leads to step three, which is lips and text. As we've seen, AI tools have gotten really good at making fake people, but there are a couple specific things you can look for. First, in these close-up videos where you see a person talking to camera, look at the lips and listen to the voice. Let's take this fake version of me. I'm gonna say this out loud right now. I'm gonna say these words and then I'm gonna go in and have my fake version say the same thing so you can get a sense of what it looks like. I'm gonna say these words out loud and then I'm gonna have my fake version say the same thing so you get a sense of what it looks like. If you look pretty closely, you can see that my lips don't match exactly and the voice sounds slightly off. Now you may not know me, but you can hear my talking voice here and you can hear the slight difference. It's not perfect, but again, it's about using your common sense. The other side of this is for crowd or for big shots is to look at text. If you see a giant crowd shot of a bunch of people in the crowd, one of the easiest signs to tell something is AI is to go look at say the sign in the background. If that sign does not have readable text or it looks like gibberish, it is AI for sure. Now, AI generators have gotten way better at text. In the last couple of weeks, there are a few big tools that have come out that specifically focus on text. But again, in a crowd shot or a large news event, something that's meant to look realistic, the AI generator in that instance is not focused on the text. It is focused on the scene. So you're probably still gonna be able to find little pieces that are wrong. So that's it, the three simple steps. They're gonna get you a long ways, but just remember AI tools keep getting better, which is why it's important to keep learning about this stuff. Don't let 
let this video be the last time you start thinking about what AI and deepfakes are. I've included some more specific resources down below here, but if you're looking for a place to come and learn about AI, come to our channel. We really try to demystify this stuff for the average person to try to open the door and kind of let people in to what a lot of people feel scared and, and freaked out by. Gavin, Gavin, wait. I have um, a really important thing to tell your viewers here. Their life insurance isn't going to provide what they'll need for their family. And now it's time for me to shut down fake Gavin before he gets me into way, way, way more trouble. Thanks, everybody.